Brian Howard here with BK's Credit Group and with BK's Credit Group.com. And, you know, I, I want to do this video. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk about what does it cost to set up a company or in particular, what does it cost to set up an LLC for your business? You know, it, it amazes me at how many calls I get of those inquiring about business credit and they haven't even set up an entity yet. They haven't set up an entity. Matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you're not, they're not even sure about uh, what it is that they want to do for a business, but yet they're trying to build business credit. And, you know, guys, when it, when it, when it comes to building business credit, just like anything else, you know, you want to start from the beginning and you want to set a solid and strong foundation and do things the right way to put yourself in position, right, to have the most success. You know, the main reason that, you know, corporations are able to build business credit or corporate credit so well is, you know, they have CFOs. They have CFOs that, you know, are paid, you know, upward six figures and higher in order to manage the credit and finances of the business in order to grow the business. And so for you coming in, you kind of have to wear that CFO hat, right, and make those type of decisions. But, you know, that's that's a conversation and a topic for another day. I don't want to get too far into that. Uh, the point that I was trying to make is, you know, a lot of you are coming saying that you want to be a business credit and you haven't even set up your company or your LLC uh, for that matter. And, you know, so I'm going to jump into, you know, what what it costs in order to set up an LLC. Now, you don't have to set up an LLC. I mean, you can do an S Corp or a C Corp. I mean, you know, if that's what you want to do for your business, that's fine. Uh, I won't go into the details about the differences of each one. I can tell you that the number one thing, the, na the main difference between all three is how they're taxed. They're all taxed very differently. And I can also tell you that the LLC, also known as the limited liability company, has the least amount of paperwork and the least amount of maintenance uh, in order to do on an annual basis. Because once you get into C Corps and Air Corps, you start talking about board members and board meetings and you know and all that good stuff. All right. So how much does it cost to set up your LLC? That's going to vary. That's going to vary by state because there are a lot of things that you have to take into consideration when you're looking to sell up, set up your LLC. And so I'm going to run down um, the things that you that you're going to have to consider and the possible associated costs. Now, again, remember, it's going to vary, uh, you know, it's going to vary by state. You know, here in Georgia, the price to do these things is going to be very different than if, say, you were doing it in California or probably New York. I know California is a lot more expensive uh, than Georgia when it comes to uh, setting up, setting up corporations or setting up LLCs. So the first thing now you want to consider is uh, the cost to prepare your documents. Now, you can set up your company by yourself if you are uh, LLC savvy, I should say, and you want to set up the documents yourself, then obviously there's no cost. But if you look at some of the online document preparation companies that do um, LLCs and S Corps and C Corps like mycorporation.com, for an example, that's not my number one recommendation, but that's just one that comes to mind. You know, I think you can get a corporation there for anywhere from $59 to $89, meaning the cost to prepare the documents. There are a couple of companies out there that that, that are a little cheaper that start as cheap as $29. So it's like $29 to $89 just for them to do uh, the basic, you know, the basic paperwork. And then they have add-on services like if you want like a binder or certificates or st stamps with your LLC name and different things like that. But the typical cost uh, to get the documents done through an online LLC services usually less than $100, range from $30 to about $89, right? So you have that fee. Then the other fee, your next fee you have is you have your state filing fee. Now, it doesn't matter whether you prepare the documents yourself for the corporation or if you go through the online company, you're going to have to pay the state filing fee. The state filing fee can range, again, anywhere. It's as cheap as about $50 to $100 here in Georgia, I think. And it could be as much as $500 or anywhere in between. That's going to depend on your state. So you're going to have to need to look at your state to see what the state filing fee for an LLC is for your state. Then you have your annual maintenance fee, meaning the fee basically that the state is going to charge you in order to keep your LLC or your corporation in good standing. And this is very, very important because when you're trying to build business credit, this is one of the first things that they check, you know, they check to make sure your name and address and all of that ma matches. And then the next thing that they check is they want to see if you're 
operating legally because if you're out of compliance or you haven't paid your annual fee then technically you shouldn't be doing business and that's going to get you an automatic denial for any type of business credit so you got your annual maintenance fee again that's probably 50 to 50 to 500 dollars depending on your state now some states have what they call a publishing requirement now when you, when you think about a publishing requirement i want you to think of if you could think back in the day when they used to do like divorces, right? There's a way like you could do it, like you could put it in the paper and make an announcement in the paper. And then if the person you was trying to divorce didn't respond, then the county will go ahead and grant you divorce. Also, when you set it up a nonprofit, like I have a nonprofit organization and here in Georgia, when I set up my nonprofit, I had to run an ad in the local paper for a month saying that I wanted to um, start a nonprofit. And so, uh, you know, I have to pay like 40, 50 bucks uh, and they run, you know, there's something that they run in the, I can't remember if the business section or classifies it, but there's a section that in all local newspapers where they run those type, uh, you know, those, I don't want to call it an ad, but they run that type of commentary that's letting you know that someone's wanting to get a divorce or someone's trying to start a nonprofit or I think that that's even where they do. Um, like maybe uh, properties that are old taxes. There are a lot of different things that they do, but just know some states have a publishing requirement in order to set up an LLC. Okay, that's the point that I'm trying to make. The other thing is you got to have an operating agreement. Now, the operating agreement is really a, it's an internal document. Uh, you don't have to file your operating agreement with your secretary of state. That's just something that you're required to keep on file. And that basically kind of outlines and breaks down, you know, how your business is going to operate. You know, you know, you're a two member, three member LLC. You know, one person has X responsibilities. Another one has, the, you know, whatever the breakdown, how you're going to operate with your business. Now, a lot of the online um, companies that do the documentation for your LLC will provide you with a generic operating agreement that you can just plug in your name and your business name and you got an operating agreement and then you know of course you being the, the president or ceo or whatever you are in your company you can always modify and edit that but you want to have an operating agreement and so if you go at one of the online companies a lot of them include that in their fee or it's considered an add-on that may be like 15 to 25 dollars and then obviously you got to have a tax id there's absolutely no cost to tax id for a tax id you can go straight to the irs website and get your tax id um, now, if you go through, again, if you go through one of the online companies that do LLC, they may charge you a fee to go out and get the tax ID number for you, but they're not actually charging you for the tax ID. They're just charging you for the time and effort and knowledge that is required in order to go to the IRS website and properly uh, go through the steps in order to obtain a tax identification number for you. But again, a tax ID or the tax identification number, your EIN, I mean, your employment identification number is something that you can do on your own that's free of charge. All right. So real quick, just to run down um, the cost involved in, in, starting, in starting an LLC, because that's what we want to focus on, the LLC, uh, uh, your fee for your document preparation, your state filing fee that's going to vary by state, your annual maintenance fee that's also going to vary by state, your publishing requirement, if your state requires a publishing requirement. Like I said, here in Georgia, there's no publishing requirement, but I do know, like, again, when I got my nonprofit organization, there was a publishing requirement. You got to have your operating agreement. You can do that yourself. Or a lot of the online documentation companies can include a generic draft as part of their, you know, as part of their online package. And then you want to have your tax ID, obviously. Okay. So, I guess if you kind of do some quick math, you're probably looking at some states as cheap as $200, like here in Georgia, to completely set up an LLC, and it could probably go up to 500, probably even eight for states like California and I think New York that are like super, super expensive. All right. Okay. So that's Brian Howard signing out for bkcreditgroup.com. Thank you.